everyone, I'm Marina from You From Marina. Welcome back to my channel. I have fangs now. Today, I want to share with you my NaNoWriMo survival kit. It's a survival kit of five things. Um, obviously not a lot of things, but I just find these things very helpful when I'm going through a period of some serious writing. If you have any other things to add to this list, please do so down below to let us all know what you need to get through this insane month of writing. Also, you should know, I have never actually finished NaNoWriMo before. Actually ever like completed the 50,000 words. Blame it on school, I blame it on work. It's just I've never done it before and I'm gonna get to that in my fifth item in my survival kit and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Without further ado, let's begin. Number one, an encyclopedia of names. This is totally optional but I find it so comforting and helpful to know that I've got this book of names on hand and ready to use if I ever get stumped. I find that if I'm gonna go on find baby names on the internet, I could get lost in the interwebs. I could just lose myself, procrastinate even more. Having a book where you can't deviate from the book, it's pretty useful. I will show you the book. If you wanna hear about this book a little bit more, I do have a video which I will link above and below, which I did for NaNoWriMo in a past year. So this is the Writer's Digest Character Naming Sourcebook, and it has been an endless source of inspiration for me over the years. Sorry, I'm just not used to seeing myself with bangs, so yes. It's just got an endless amount of names, and it'll save you. You don't always have to stick with that one name, which is brilliant, but if you just need something to get you out of a rut, then this is your tool. Survival tool number two. This tool comes in many forms. This is a notebook. Every writer needs a notebook. I find that keeping everything in a notebook, structured in a notebook, is really helpful. So I have this one to show you. It's a little tiny Moleskine notebook. It's actually got blank pages. Basically, I just always keep this in my purse to write down any inspiration that might like hit me on the head, you know, like, oh, there's an idea, but then maybe you can't write it on your phone or something and you want it tangible on piece of paper because so I know that like once I write a note down in my phone I'll never remember to go and look at it again so if it's on a piece of paper then I have a better chance of finding it if that makes sense or there's these bigger notebooks that you can use I've even seen um, somebody using a5 plus for their NaNoWriMo do you do you boo <laughs> I have two here this is a notebook I'm currently using for the story that I'm gonna be writing for NaNoWriMo I have already begun that story but I've been nursing this story for a long time, so I'm just gonna use that story um, for NaNoWriMo. But if you would like to see a more in-depth look into this journal, I have a video which I will link above and below again for you to take a look at. And then I also have this journal, which you guys have seen a couple times before. It's called my brainstorm book, where I just put all sorts of notes and, and goodies in. I also have a video where I talk about this book, which I will link above and below. Survival kit tool number three is something I think that a lot of people are going to be a hit or miss. You know, for me, I believe in the power of crystals, in how they work with the vibrations of your body, of the air around you, and I believe that when I write with my spirit cords, that it helps get my creative juices going. I always find that if I'm having a tough day, and if I feel like oh, I need to be writing, but I don't really feel like it, if I put this guy down, he helps me get through. And I actually bought another one today. I actually bought several crystals today um, and one of them just happens to be another spirit quartz. I thought, what if I have two? Then the power will be doubled. I bought an amethyst spirit quartz, some howlite, and some lepidolite I think I bought today, but I will just show you my brand new spirit quartz. Looks like a little bit like uh, Fort Ross. Tool number four is I have been really loving hot chocolate. I got this big box of 40 packets of hot chocolate from Costco the other day and there's Rolo, there's Macintoshes, there's After 8, there's, and there's one more. Coffee Crisp, I think. They just, and I'm lactose intolerant so I've been using soy milk instead and it like foams up and it's so good. I love it so much. So hot chocolate or tea or if you're a coffee drinker, why not? Just have some, some sustenance with you, you know. Popcorn sometimes. I found when I was studying or writing essays, popcorn helps me get through. 
tool number five is probably the most important tool and that is patience my friends patience i mean it, it sounds a little cl cliche but i think it's important to remember that this is supposed to be a time for you to do your best and to write. I've never ever been disappointed in myself except for the first year because I was still learning in the years since that I participated in NaNoWriMo. I'm never disappointed that I don't finish 50,000 words. And the reason is is because I'm still writing every day. I'm still writing, doing as much as I possibly can. Well, that's not true. I could finish 50,000 words. That's possible. But NaNoWriMo is there for you to write your book. And if you get half of it done, that's half more than you had done in October and probably twice the amount that you would have had done by December. Just make sure that you treat yourself well during NaNoWriMo, that you don't deprive yourself of other things, that you do your homework if you're in school, that you stay happy and that writing remains pleasant for you. And that you don't stress yourself out, that you don't get depressed, that you keep your mental health and your physical health in mind. Just remember this is fun, this is for you and your own journey to progress in that. And if you can get 50,000 words out, kudos to you because uh, so far I'm not there yet. Those are the five tools that I have to share with you from my NaNoWriMo experience and what has helped me write. And remember that if this is your first draft, like it is for most of us, your first draft can be shit and that's okay. You can revise later, but right now it's time for you to word vomit and get out everything that you need to get out in order to make this story possible and in order to get it that much closer into all of our hands so that we can live in your magical world. Is that too cheesy? I don't know. If you would like, I will leave all my nano info- <laughs> if you like, you can take a look in the description below. I've got all my NaNoWriMo information. So if you want to add me as a friend on NaNoWriMo, then we can follow each other, root each other on. Let me know how you're doing. Tell me on Instagram, on Twitter. Let's be a uh, NaNoWriMo forced for good. And let's get this 50,000 words or less or more done. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped. Let me know your opinions below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. These bangs. Just got them cut today and they tickle. <laughs>